Okay, y'all, here we go. Thomas Matthew the fourth coming to you live. Live on the drive. I heard God speak to me a few moments ago, and he told me this. This is fierce. He said, I want you to call for 30 days of prayer. 30 days of prayer. Beginning today, July, June, sorry, 12th, 2000. And I'm already see my spirit. I'm already at the destination. To July 12th. If that's 30 days or 31 days, whatever. But the Lord is uh, demanding of us some things. Now, I got to say this. A lot of people trek with me online. And God bless you for doing that. But you know what? We need some spiritual results out of this thing. Uh, it's not enough just for people to go, you know, great teaching. I'm learning something and ha ha ha. No. We need to... I feel the anointing. We need to explode on the scene. I mean, in the power of the Holy Ghost. I mean, spiritually. People need to rise up and wake up. Something new needs to happen. And, and this is a crossover season. 12 is a very apostolic number. It's a kingdom foundation number 12. 12 tribes, 12 apostles, 12 foundations, 12 gates. I love it. And amazingly, God just spoke that to me. So here we go. I'm calling everyone, everyone around the world who's connected with us in any way for good, for the advancing of the kingdom. It's time now for you to rise up and begin to pray and begin to cry out. I don't know how many minutes you're going to pray. I don't know how many hours if you're going to do it. I don't know how much you're going to fast. Whoa, but we need to do something right now. The time is over to just to go day to day. There's a lot of things that the Lord needs to come into place now. A lot of things need to happen. It's no good that there's not enough results of breakthrough. And, and I'm telling you prophetically, there's a shift upward. There's a shift to the new thing that God's doing now. There's something just amazing that's in progress. And the enemy needs to be smashed. So you want to say, well, what should we pray about? How should we pray? Number one, just go against the devil. You know, James 4, 7 says, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. That's the first thing is go to God and then resist the devil. Break his head. Break his power. But be quick to want to listen to the dictates of the Holy Spirit, the things he wants to tell you now. Because the Lord's been talking to me and giving me specific instructions, some that are absolutely amazing, some that are just... Phew! I, I mean... I mean, beyond, beyond. And I'm like, hey, you know. Okay, Lord, I heard you. You know, and, and some things that if you hadn't spoken it, you, you, you just wouldn't have thought of it, you know. You know those kind of things when God gives you those kind of instructions? And you're just like, wow, okay. Because God wants to bless. He wants to help. He wants to uplift. He wants to help us grow. He wants to help us climb up to the next level. I'm not even saying the real thing of all the things that I could be saying. I mean, God has been speaking apostolically, prophetically about massive upgrades. And the devil needs to be smashed down. You want to break through to the next level. I've been teaching. I've been praying. I've been... Uh, Declaring what's on the mind of God in very deep and profound ways and things. And hey, now it's time for those things to be implemented. I had an experience where I was being friendly to someone and they weren't friendly back. I won't say all the details. I mean, they were just absolutely ballistically rude and belligerently rude and horrible. But no, I mean, what? So I thought, 
Was that the way to connect? No, you know, the way to connect with this whole thing is to blast things open in the spirit and then the wrong people just bounce off. Like, of course, that, that one did. Anyway, it just let, let it just be going like boom, like that. And an eruption comes in the Holy Ghost to take the whole uh, move of God to the land, to the regions that things need to go. And then all sorts of things will happen. All sorts of things will happen. All sorts of great things will happen and take place, my friend. Woo, I mean, it'll be like, wow, how can we contain all this? I was just on the phone to South America yesterday. With someone from... Uh, that has, has to do with our things that we're doing in Africa. And, and they were asking me a question and I told them, I began to tell some things about what happened all the way back from the year 2000 in Africa that absolutely blew entire nations uh, into new dimensions. So the warfare over that is, is, is amazing. I mean, we hit the, we hit the, uh, how could you say? We, we, hit, we hit the jugular vein, we hit the heart. Hey, saxophone's too competitive with my voice right now. Let me find another one. All right. <laughs> and and uh, I had I have a photograph. I'll show it to you, where uh, thousands of people were in the city set in the government headquarters. Thousands. I think at the end of my message, I laid hands on about five or 6,000 people and every single one of them fell to the ground. Nobody stayed up and my hands were like blood red, blood red. They were like, like red paint had been painted on them and they were numb for hours from the power of God go through my hands. It was just a sovereign visitation from heaven that hit that place in the capital city in the heart of the, uh, the, heart of the government center there and spoke about the new government the old government co collapsing and coming down and the new government being erected and going up. It all happened within uh, a year and a half. After that, it was magnanimous. The Lord said somebody prominent would die, a, a leading government official, I think it was the vice president. Or and, and all these things began to happen and shift. And now that nation has gone into major, major advancement. And, and the Lord has used me in this ministry. Now, do you think that's a small thing for like 50 million people? Uh, in 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 uh, in receipt of that, all of that, you know. So uh, that's no small thing. Now something's about to happen new in America. Something's new new is about to happen in in the African continent, the European continent. We need to pray ahead. And the Lord said, thirty days of prayer. So I want you to commit to join with me. You can write on the screen. I'm not looking at the notes right now. Uh, I'm just speaking here and delivering this. I'll read, I'll read your comments later after uh, another meeting I'm heading to. I'll read them later and I'll respond back to you. So, But please write your comments that you'll pray. Just say, I'll pray, yes. You, you, you and the Holy Spirit decide how much, how long. I, I, would, I would be happy if someone would commit to pray 15 to 30 minutes on a daily basis, you know, a couple of times or once straight or, or 10 minutes at a time and really go ballistic in the spirit. Now, if you're one that can intercede and go for hours, hey, all the power to you. I'm with you because I'm doing that. But you know what? Uh, great. But if you could do just a few minutes with us every day, starting today, June 12th through July 12th. I'm not, I'm not saying 11 to 30 days, whatever, whatever it is. 12 to 12 for this, this month cycle, the middle of this month to the middle of next month. Because that's the birthing season of a new time. And the Lord has spoken. I am not even going to get into the details right now. I may end another in another broadcast, but right now I want to tell you, God has spoken and begun and put things into place that are just huge. And they're very alarming to the kingdom of darkness. So there, there are some things that need to get done also that you need God's help. I need God's help. I need God's people. I need God's help. 
I'm talking about in the spirit. Yeah, the natural things, all the natural things, but the spiritual weight and power to push things through, the things that need to get done. The Lord gave me, I'm not saying details, the Lord gave me some very specific instructions for me and for the ministry and for people and situation. Uh, my Lord, it's heavy and it takes some, some work and some commitment to it. So pray with me on this even for you yourself to get the greatest breakthrough you've ever had in your life. My friend, I'm telling you, it's about to happen. 30 days of prayer. I know those that are at the Spirit will bear witness with this. It'll jump inside of you. That every day we're praying, moving forward. I'm calling all my intercessors. I'm going to call them on the phone. Some kingdom leaders, some anointed people. I'm going to call some intercessors. I'm going to call some pastor friends. I'm going to call some... Uh, prophets and apostles and warriors are meeting with some and I tell them this and we're going to be praying because some junk that the devil has uh, 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 made it even into strongholds in people just needs to be broken and destroyed now and it's the time and the day and the hour for that now for those things to be washed away Whew, God I feel the anointing Jesus another thing the Lord spoke to me a few moments ago. Wow. And he said, and, and I begin to feel this compassion and hatred against, compassion for people and hatred against dysfunction. Dysfunctional relationships, dysfunction in families, dysfunction that causes people to grow up messed up and then in their Later on in life, they have so many issues to deal with. It's real. And someone that comes from a really good home where everybody's happy and everybody's supportive and they don't even know what this is like. But some people come from some jacked up situations. I mean, bad. Bad. And I am praying and declaring against this thing. I'm going to do it for the rest of my life because I've seen it. It's been revealed to me prophetically. I've seen it. I, I believe I'm carrying an anointing to break that thing because I know what it is to overturn all those strongholds. And I am going to do that, that the next generation can grow up having the sweetest parents, the sweetest celebration. I, I wondered, I used to wonder about this. If parents, if you come from a household and you've not been praised a lot by parents or, or not at all, some people have never heard their father tell them they love them. And then when they're, even when they're old, they're still crying deep down in the back of their soul. There's some damage that was done over that. They're still dealing with that. Even no matter how great they've become, there's still something missing. Of course, God comes and gives that then to us, right? His love. But you know what? I thought, can you praise a kid too much? Can you spoil him too much? Can you give him too much? I, I had that question in my own mind. I still don't know if I have the full answer to it. Because you'd think, no, everybody should have uh, beautiful celebration and praise from you know from the parents and from the family right but you wonder like how much can somebody take you know is it good to have all that I, I, I have to tell you does a kid grow up to be spoiled thinking too much of himself and you see some kids that are like left alone they have to figure out a lot of things themselves Oh my, you say, well, if it was the opposite and they were always like a center of attention and had so much smushy, gushy love on them all the time and support and praise and, you know, affirmation, adoration and all that, how would, how would the kid turn out? Well, I look at some champions who had their parents backing. One is Tiger Woods. He had his father supporting him in his golf. He became the best in the world. I mean, so, you know... I heard another man of God uh, who's greatly used of the Lord uh, who had some problems also in his, uh, in his journey. He said one thing that he sees that's really missing is uh, the Barnabas thing, the consolation thing, the um, encouragement factor. He said, that's really missing. And when someone gives you some affirmation and validation, it really helps you. 
Not that you're supposed to need that, but the more we pray, the more we get it in the spirit. And guess what? The more we're calling in. Now, here's another prayer point. We're calling in from the north, south, east, and the west. All the divine connections, right relationships that we need, that we want, and that we need. And uh, they'll be doing so much. But I heard the Lord say this, and I said this from the beginning here now in this session, in this segment. God is expecting something from you. He's expecting a lot from me. And I was crying a little bit. I was walking, doing some shopping a few errands earlier, and I was like, uh, getting a couple things. And I was like, you know, Lord, what if you give someone an assignment that's really strenuous? I've had that from heaven. Isn't it great that we fight and war and work for you? Isn't that a worthy sacrifice? Isn't that a good thing? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. So I thought, give me that resolve. And the Lord spoke to me and gave me a deadline, something in a month, and I'm going to pray the whole month over this. Also, something about 30 days. That's where it originated in my spirit. And the Lord gave me an instruction, something about this month. In one month from today, something needs to be accomplished and done. And they're strenuous things, okay? So we need to pray. But it's like, you know, it's not my thing. This is this is for you and for the world. This is your I know you want to blast off, so it's great that I've come across you here. I'm gonna help you. Get to that place in your life. We need to pray. So Father, in Jesus' name, we call upon you. Almost high. And she'll begin to... Uh, move on situations, the things that we want and need. And it is that day now. When things are going to begin to shift upward in all good things in Jesus name I want you to be praying tonight my friend I want you to be praying tomorrow until we come together again I want you to be getting yourself together start to look to God and ask him questions and begin to just release fire from the altar of the throne of God with the power of the anointing against the enemy and all wickedness the devil's not going to have his way He's not going to get what he wants. Anything he wants is just what he's not going to have. He's a liar. He's a fool. He's a filthy disgrace to uh, the universe and to God's creation. And he's not getting his way in anything. And you have to be uh, aware of that. You have to be convicted about that. Anything he says, don't go, oh, oh the devil, oh, he's after, he's after you. No. Come back right in his face and break his ugly head. Kick him where it hurts. Break him in pieces. Hit him back. Because he's defeated and you're not. He's forever lost and you're not. He's forever lost and we're forever saved. So who's better, us or him? So we need to enforce that victory that God's given us. So I want you to pray. I want you to pray in tongues. I want you to speak the word. And I want you to pray with me. And I want you to pray for me as I'm praying for you. I want you to call my name before the Lord. I want you to call. And I want you to come against every demon, every devil, every situation, every setback, every issue. Anything that's anything about anything that needs to be corrected, changed, and advanced in every good way. And... You're going to be the recipient of blessings for getting involved in this flow of this anointing. Oh, yes. Thank you for praying with us, my friend. Thank you for being my partner also on thomasmanton.com. It's there for you, the portal to use to sow seed, to tithe, to sow seed, to first fruit, to give alms. And our world missions is no joke, you know. We're doing a lot around the world. I want you to... Uh, uh, sow a seed for our world missions projects things we're doing in the nations which is ongoing ongoing all the time going and going and going and going uh, without stop so thank you for your, for your support 
And as you sow, God will also, uh, you know, give you back so many blessings. In Jesus' name. ThomasManton.com is the website to do that on. In Kenya, I want all my friends in Kenya to be praying. And Pesa is 0792-320-780. And share this broadcast. Start to pray. This is day one, the 12th of June. And we're going through the 12th of July every single day. I trust I'll come on with a short broadcast, if, if, if not a longer one, every day. But if not, whatever is continuing. And we're going to keep praying every single day. Ooh, so the Lord bless you. Let his anointing and fire touch you right now. He's here with me right now. Wow, this is great. Thank you, Lord. God's making you the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. Money is going to flow in your life. New business is going to flow in your life. New open doors, new advancement, new favor. Get ready to see it. It's coming forth. And that is the word of the Lord. I can say, says the Lord. Let me say it, says the Lord. That's what I'm saying to you. Isaiah 48, 17, I'm the Lord your God who teaches you to profit. And I speak even through my prophet to help you to profit. And I lead you in the way you should go. Every good path, every great door, every great relationship, we're praying them through. Every wrong situation, we're praying it out. Every stronghold that's been set up, we're getting rid of it and destroying it. Are you hearing me? And this is all happening through prayer and prophetic prayer. Get prophetic. Get in the flow of the Spirit. Tap into the grace that's upon my life and ministry. Tap into it. I'm releasing it over you. You too will prophesy. You too will prophesy. You too will understand. You too will flow in words of knowledge, in words of wisdom, and words of life prophetically. In Jesus' name. So know this. This is the season of the upgrade. It's the season of the breaking out. It's the season of the breaking forth. It's the season of the, of the, of the breakthrough. It's the season of advancement, elevation, enrichment, enriching, empowerment, enlightenment, illumination, revelation. It's the season where the new thing that God's ordained for you to step up into that's huge, magnanimous, and bigger than anything you've seen before. This is that day and that hour, says the Lord. And I'm bringing you there, says the Lord. All right, I love you. I'll talk to you again tomorrow, uh, ASAP. But thank you for praying. Get into prayer now. Spend some time praying with me tonight as I'm praying too. In Jesus' name, love you. Talk to you soon. Have a great, great day. Make it a great day. Go for it, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The, Lord is, the Lord's power is upon you. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen.